and from Ireland to the Holy Land in just a few minutes when Karen Armstrong continues her exploration of the life and teachings of St Paul, to her mind the first Christian. That's after today's news summary, which follows the break. The unluckiest fly in the world is about to make his television debut. <laughs> Babe Pona, knock him dead. Now, Street Sounds 13, Steve Barrington, Atlantic Star, The Coolmos, dance chart busters from both sides of the Atlantic, BB and Q, Change, Gerald Lynn, Schoolboys and Billy Griffin, the top dance tracks on one great album, One Way and more, Street Sounds 13, more music than the average 12-inch. Take control with new Sunsilk Styling Mousse, and you no longer have to wrestle with your hair. Get a grip with regular hold, or extra hold, when you need it. New Sunsilk Styling Mousse. Now you can have the style you want. Give your skin a little extra care at night. Now there's Night of Yule Enriched Beauty Cream to supplement your daily routine. Light enough to be absorbed quickly into your skin, yet rich enough to really care for your skin while you sleep. Help keep your skin softer, smoother, and young looking with Night of Yule. The beauty care, the beauty sleep. The things people buy with Midland personal loans. A very old suit, a car that's a hoot, a partner for riding, a plane to go gliding, a slow boat to China, an antique timer, champagne celebrations, superb decorations. Nine out of ten Midland personal loans are approved on the spot, okay? Midland personal loans from the listening bank. The new TV Times is now on sale, telling you what's on ITV and Channel 4 this coming week. And it's packed full of facts, fun and features. Find out what happened to Sean Connery when he jumped off the Bond wagon. And learn how to make a rat cocktail, courtesy of Superstar and this week's cover star, Roland Rat. And to mark the 85th anniversary of the Queen Mother, there's a special TV Times tribute. And a souvenir book for you to send off for, all in this week's TV Times. Don't miss it. Now on four, we join Carol Barnes for the news summary at 5.15. Security along the Irish border has been tightened after an announcement by Sinn Féin in South Armagh that 116 members of Norad are due to arrive in the area tomorrow. Sinn Féin have not said if the group will include Mr Martin Galvin, Norad's publicity director, who is now in the Republic and is banned from entering Northern Ireland. In Newry, police have foiled an attack on the town's police station. They discovered a van in a nearby car park with four mortars primed and aimed at the station. Last February, nine police officers died in an IRA mortar attack on the building. In South Africa, the Black Mine Workers Union has called an indefinite strike in 29 gold and coal mines from August 25th. 230,000 workers will take part in the action, which is likely to cause further problems for South Africa's already battered economy. Meanwhile, disabled South African athletes have been banned from taking part in the paraplegic games at Stoke Mandeville. The move follows a boycott of this year's games by four nations and protests by anti-apartheid demonstrators at the opening ceremony attended by the Princess of Wales last Monday. The games organizers said the ban was in the interests of the future of paraplegic sport. The death toll in yesterday's French train crash has risen to 34 after rescue workers discovered more bodies in the wreckage. The crash happened at Cahors, 50 miles north of Toulouse, when the Holiday Express from Paris crashed head-on with a local train on a single track. The French transport minister has ordered an immediate inquiry, and railway officials say the accident appears to have been caused by a human signalling error. A station master responsible for the signalling on that section of the track has been remanded in police custody. 
Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, who's 85 today, received an enthusiastic welcome from crowds at Sandringham when she attended the morning service at the parish church. Despite heavy rain, the Queen Mother, accompanied by the Queen and Princess Margaret, accepted poses of flowers and acknowledged the good wishes of the crowds who turned out to see her. To mark the occasion, ITN is transmitting a special programme later this evening, The Queen Mother at 85, on ITV at a quarter to eight. That's the end of this Channel 4 news summary from ITN. Our next news is on ITV at 6.30. Now let's look at the weather. Most regions will have a cloudy night tonight with rain at times, but central and eastern parts of England may become dry for a while, and in northern Scotland it'll be mainly dry. Tomorrow it'll be mainly cloudy with outbreaks of rain in most places. In Northern Ireland and Scotland it'll be showery with some sunny intervals developing, and in Wales and western parts of England it'll become a little brighter, though still showery, with strong northwesterly winds.